Hello, my name is Einkrow, and thank you for coming back to my playthrough of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, presented in stereoscopic 3D in full side-by-side -side format. Now, full side-by-side -side format is 1920 by 1080 pixels, presenting, to, uh, presenting the game world to each of your eyes. So, this is a 3840 by 1080 video. And that means that you have got to select the 2160p 4K quality option. I say that every time, and I will continue to say it, at least for another part or two, just to make sure that nobody is trying to watch this at 1080p, 720p, or anything else. If you don't have the internet bandwidth to handle this video, I guess you could watch it, but it's going to look like ass, and there's nothing I can do about that except for recommend 2160p to you. All right, so where we left off... We learned that Dale, who is Ethan's father, was forced to commit suicide to escape from the sleeper's influence or whatever the heck's going on here. And Paul Prospero, who is our player character, says that that isn't going to work. He says that the uh, suicide is no way to escape the sleeper. And we ended up inside of the hydroelectric station here. And there's an open door over there, but I think I want to first check out over here. Go up the stairs, see what I can see inside of this area. So, the last recording that I did was super long, it was an hour long. I believe I've split that into two parts. Hopefully I was able to find some nice parts to split it up at, rather than having some abrupt cuts in the middle of doing stuff. Uh, we'll see. But in this part, I plan to make a bit of progress and hopefully keep the part shorter. But that really depends on when the save points are. So I can go up here to the top level, but there's nothing here. I can't jump down. So I'm just going to have to... Why would you even build this? There's nothing up here. No offices, no uh, machinery... No water cooler. There's no point in building that. Absolutely no point in having this be a two-story building. So I guess I'm just gonna... Oh, I'm gonna turn this. Oh, I just shut it down. This is locked. I don't know why I shut this down. Let's try and find out. Did they change anything with the flow of the river? Nope. So, earlier today, I went onto the Vanishing of Ethan Carter forums. Steam forums just to see if anyone else has had the frame rate issues where it just stutters for no reason. And there were some people suggesting that they had some frame rate problems where the frame rate dips really, really low. I don't know if this is the same issue I'm having, but another interesting thing I saw was someone had a thread asking for Oculus Rift support with the DK2 so that you'd have the positional tracking. Or head track, and I don't know exactly what the DK2 provides. I think it's backwards and forwards movement rather than just basically turning the camera. You can also move forwards and backwards with your head slightly, and that affects the perspective. I don't know, but uh, someone asked for DK2 support for this game, and somebody responded who had the developer tag on their name saying, Yes, he believes that this game is perfect for VR. And it's something that they would like to do, though it was going to take a while for them to do it. And so there is a good chance we will see this game with VR support in the next year. That would be amazing, because this game is indeed fantastic for just just viewing it in uh, the, the way our eyes are meant to see the world. Which is, of course... With two slightly different perspectives, also known as stereoscopic 3D. Plus with uh, 
With VR, with a head-mounted display, you can get your entire field of view covered up by the game. And that's amazing. So I turned that off, but I don't... Th I don't know what it did. It's weird how there's no sound until I come outside. Something that the sound designers kind of goofed up on, if you ask me. I don't know what turning that off did. Was I not able to walk across here before? Or what? This is kind of cool. Whoa, the frame rate. Takes a screenshot of this. This is kind of neat. I didn't go over there, though. Let's check out over here. I also haven't solved that demon puzzle. The undead puzzle. The zombie puzzle. But I hope you don't mind if I am not too excited to go back down there. Because there are jump scares down there, and screw that. I, thought, I heard that this game was... Uh, it's got a creepy atmosphere, but it wasn't like horror. There weren't a bunch of jump scares, but that's obviously false. There's a trap that snaps them to, up into your face at the very beginning of the game. And then there are freaking zombies. And Paul Pro Prospero doesn't even have anything to say about it. He's just like... Oh, I'm just going to go back to the start of the area, I guess. But he doesn't complain about there being undead in his... in this world. So it looks like there's not actually anything over here. Except a cool screenshot opportunity, I guess. Go down here, sort of. Nope, nothing there. Can I get over here? Nope. I wonder if there are any places where you can get stuck in this game just because of invisible walls. This looks like another power station inside. But I can't actually get in there. Can't get in through there. Nope. What about here? Nope. Let's just cross. See what's going on. Ah, oh, man, these slowdowns. Oh, my God. Seriously. Whoa. Even the audio cut out there. It's just going wild in this area for some reason. Little brook that feeds into the river. Visible walls and not allowing me to go into it. I'm just, I'm just riding an invisible wall right now. Ethan was close. I could feel him, a pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. Some high conversion screenshots, right quick. Another one. 
I use screenshots at the in the intros of all of these parts. And I try to have different screenshots for each part, so that's why I take a bunch of screenshots, so I have some nice options to choose from. Here we go, we can see the sun again, peeking up over the mountain in the distance. Across the river. Ooh, here's a wide open area. So I want to see if that is actually model geometry way in the distance. And the way I can do that is by setting an insane amount of convergence right here. So you see how we can really perceive the other side of this river now? With the depth. This is insane. This is going to start glitching out soon enough. Yep. Those mountains are actually 3D. They aren't just a 2D backdrop. I can sense it. And also that fog over there too is also 3D, if you can believe that. It's not just an illusion. All those trees way over there, also 3D models. Even though they look flat. Let's just increase the convergence here as well. Yep. You gotta be real careful when you do this so that you're not getting completely painful scenes like this. Oh, crap. This is weird. Let me see if I can play like this for any amount of time. Oh my god. I'm a freaking giant, but I'm the shortest giant ever. If I'm gonna look at the game world like this, I gotta be like... 50 feet tall at least. I can't even tell where I'm going. So I successfully navigated that bridge. I guess that's something. Alright, let's go back to something reasonable, I guess. This is high convergence still, though. Alright, let's go back to normal. Any Easter eggs around here? Nope. Another thing I did in between uh, part 5 and part 4 is I turned off motion blur. I don't really like motion blur in the Unreal Engine 3. Looks kind of crappy. And I noticed that it was on, but I didn't think to turn it off until today. We've got the burnt out remains of a building and it's still smoldering as well. So this is not something that happened a very long time ago. I don't know how to estimate how long it's been, but... Less... Probably less than two days. So somebody definitely burned this down. And all the ways to get into it are closed. Oh, there's a 3D anomaly for you. Just want to get a screenshot of that if I can. Yeah, there we go. It's like the tiniest thing in the world, but still messed up. All right, got some lions here. Oh, I can get in. Hopefully, there'll be some clues. No clues? Come on, there would be clues. Don't tell me there wouldn't be any clues.
Oh, what is this? Having the foggiest what it needs to spell. Okay, E U A E U A S C F. I have no idea. Nothing around here to give me a hint. Nope. I'll look around, see if I can find any letters. Anything on these lions? Nope. Dang. Anything down here that I missed? No, nothing. I don't think I've missed anything. I probably have, but I don't think... Uh, I don't think I missed anything that I saw. If that makes any sense. You can go all the way around it, but I don't see any hint as to what the thing in the ground there needs to spell. I don't even know what the heck it is. Maybe up ahead I'll find some information? I sure hope so. Looks like there's nothing else here, though. I can just run forever. Well, at least until I hit invisible walls. Invisible walls. Nothing here. Oh my goodness. I am... Oh man. I'm going to have to figure this out. Alright, so I'm back at the inn, or whatever this is. Cut out the run so you don't have to see me just running. I don't have any idea what I need to do here. I hope it's not a case of I'm stuck until I go all the way back to that mine and then figure out what's going on with that puzzle with the gate. But that might be what's going on here. I don't see any markings anywhere. I just see some stereoscopic anomalies. Got lion statues. Do they mean anything? Got these charred things that don't have any markings. This says something, but I can't make it out. I doubt that's the clue I'm looking for, though. Well, what's going on with the ground there? Is 
heck does that mean? Something's happening with the ground. Is that the hint that's telling me what I should be doing? I don't know how to understand this. What, I sh what should I take it to mean? that means the ground will move what is this pattern it doesn't look like normal rock is the patterns in the rock change It didn't appear to have changed. Just goes distorted and then it goes back to the way it was before. C R B V E D I don't know what the heck it means. Oh. Yeah, I'm stumped. There's nothing over in that direction. The only thing here is this burnt down inn. I can't make heads or tails of this puzzle. Okay, so there is a line running from the center one to this one. But I don't know what this line means or what it is. A, B, C. Are you kidding me? Is this really what it is? Something like this? A, B, C, D, E, F? G? O, S... There's A, there's C, and there's G. There's S, C, E, U, A. D, E, V. A, U, E, F. Whoops. Is there D here? C. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, I. I can make them go alphabetically, but it doesn't help.
A, B, C, D, E, F. I don't know what the center thing is. This is surrounded by a circle and it leads to the center. C, B, is there an A here? No, oh, another B. R. B. T, U, V, Q, R, S G What does that mean? O O R S U V And then the rest are A through C. Whoa! What just happened? C O R V U S. What does that mean? Corvus? What is Corvus? I guess I just got super lucky. Or does it say Corvus on this? It does. I can barely see it though. Corvus. Okay. <laughs> Guess I'm an idiot. This place is spooky. Oh, come on, more bodies. Jesus. They don't look happy either. One of them's gonna jump out at me. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, fuck. You ready for another jump scare? I'm just gonna steal myself for it. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, come on. Do your worst. Dot, 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 charred. Peaceful. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, this is the underground area before it got destroyed. Okay. It's Ethan. Who's this? Is that Dale? No, this is someone else. Is this where Ethan came after he was rescued by Dale? Who's that? That's Dale, right? Yeah. Chronology. I'm gonna guess that this is three, this is four. Because that's the position he's in when he's died. Oh. There's the lantern and the gas can. The gas can was at, on the train tracks. I guess that's... Two? Wait, what? Should be three, not one. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me. Your grandmother, Gail, is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. I found Vandergrift's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergriff kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. I can squeeze through. Grandpa, no! Whoa, Grandpa, you sick fuck. Gail, it has to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Oh shit, look what Ethan's doing. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa! Get back! We all have to die. Even you. Even me. Oh, you sick fuck. You sick fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god, come on! You know, I just played I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream on Rico Starr's recommendation. Told me it was a fucked up game. This game's even more fucked up than that. I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream was way less screwed up than this. Look at this. God damn it, let's go in. There's Ethan. Wake up, Ethan. Ethan, wake up. Well, kid, you stopped it. It was horrible, but you stopped it. Paul Prospero? Are you... Are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too late. You're right. You were too late. Whoa. Here. Again. I knew this story. And it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. Alright. This keeps getting... Weirder and weirder. Oh man. Looks like there's some slight issues with the lights in here. I don't know if that's yes. The lights are not the the rim of the lights aren't in the same place in both eyes. Slight issue, but again so tiny that it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna inspect this. In part eight of my playthrough of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. This game's blowing my mind. I thought it was just going to be a beautiful romp through a gorgeous uh, forested area with a river and mountains. Hell no. That is not what I got at all. I get a, I get a game with mother trying to kill her son. I get a game with a grandfather that allows himself to be burned and just he just sits there and takes it oh my god what is going on here I got, I got game with jump scares I'm still reeling from that by the way even though that was about an hour ago <laughs> oh my god that's still it's still with me that was some creepy shit getting jump scared Whew. all right so I'm going to end this part here, my friends. Thank you for continuing to, to join me in this experience. And I will see you in the next part.